Your comfort zone is your enemy. One of the biggest ironies I can think of is when you live life trying to stay comfortable, life will send you more and more discomfort. It's true, life will send you more and more problems, life will keep throwing rocks at you, life will keep handing you resistance, struggles, issues. And because people are so concerned about staying comfortable instead of growing and reaching higher, because people don't want to address their limitations and move beyond them, they keep struggling. Listen, you are not here on this planet to sip apple martinis on the beach and get yourself a tan. You are here to grow. And if you won't make yourself uncomfortable, life will give you plenty of reasons to push you out your comfort zone. So you have one of two options. Either you commit to constant growth and feeling discomfort upon your own accord, and you become the master of your own destiny, or you hand over the keys and you let life happen to you by default. One path leads to success and the other path leads you to constant struggle and pain. It's your choice. You think Steve Jobs started Apple feeling comfortable about it? You think top athletes sleep their way to high performance? You think Oscar winning actors procrastinate their way to achievement? No! So then why are you giving in to wasting time with Netflix marathons into chronic procrastination? Why are you running to the bar the moment your best friend texts you to come out? You have got to be willing to make the hard decision. You've got to be willing to feel uncomfortable, to feel awkward, to face rejection, to fail, to feel pressure. You've got to be willing to face those things because that's what's necessary for you to grow. How many times have you looked at your life and said, man, if only I knew then what I know now, I live my life so differently. So is it not possible then that the life you are living now, you would be living differently if you began to develop an awareness that you do not currently have? Well, guess what? The only way for you to develop knowledge and awareness is to try things you have not yet tried, to do things you have not yet done, to create things you have not yet created, to go to places you have not yet explored. This is how you grow. That is how you become the person who is worthy of sitting on the beach with their favorite drink. Life rewards you with those experiences after you do the work. There is a real price to success and life collects the payments and let me tell you something life does not accept payment plans Life does not let you get away with experiencing things that you have not yet earned Your sacrifice must be paid up front and in full and that is the only way you are going to achieve the life that you want so I strongly suggest that you begin to pay with your discomfort. I strongly suggest that you start making those calls, that you start approaching that person, that you start practicing kindness and compassion over jealousy and greed, that you confront your anxiety, that you hit the gym, that you study harder, that you jump higher, that you begin waking up early, even if you're not a morning person, that you destroy your procrastination, that you start doing the things that you know within your heart that you should have started doing a long time ago, so you can start to build the experiences and the knowledge that you need to succeed that is what I suggest to you and don't listen to this as a voice on a video over some music listen to this as a direct sign a direct message that life is giving to you to wake you up to help you acknowledge your own greatness it's time it's time for you to get uncomfortable it's time for you to start dreaming again and start going after what was always yours but what you've ignored for far too long and I promise, when you push yourself into discomfort, your friends will take notice, your colleagues will take notice, your family will take notice, life will take notice, and life will begin to back you up. Life will begin to support you and open doors for you and introduce you to the people who will take you to the next level, but you have got to take the first step. So take it, take it and watch your life explode into greatness, watch new levels of the game unfold for you, watch you develop into the person who you have always wanted to become. It's all waiting for you outside of your comfort zone. Go for it. spent my whole life scared, frightened of things that could happen, might happen, might not happen. Fifty years I spent like that. And I came to realize it's that fear that's the worst of it. That's the real enemy. Fear is not real the only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts